Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. So there's lots of ways to lose weight. And I think one of the biggest challenges with weight loss is that there are just so many options. It seems that every expert says something that makes sense and then yet contradicts another expert. So for most people, the topic of weight loss typically leads to confusion and frustration. And I know this because I've been on some kind of a diet since age 11, which is around the sixth grade. And I've literally tried it all multiple times over and over again. However, today's topic is going to be about weight loss based on your body type, which is one factor that can determine your metabolism. Now, other factors such as metabolic type can also come into play as well, which I'll quickly cover at the end of today's video. Now, this is really important because it's based on your genetics and hormonal profile, which is one of the most important factors when it comes to weight loss and how you look and feel. Now, one other thing before I start, your goal should not be you know to just simply lose weight it should be about losing fat especially those stubborn areas such as belly arm and leg fat all right so there's three somatotypes or body types and most people are not 100 percent either one but usually it's a blend the first one i'm talking about is an ectomorph now ectomorph is typically that you know tall skinny guy or woman now they typically have small joints narrow hips and, and shoulders and and long limbs this is partly due to their fast metabolism and they have a hard time generally gaining weight or adding muscle to their you know kind of tiny frame now basketball players for example are typically ectomorphs as are maybe models now ectomorph can typically eat a lot more food especially carbohydrates in fact they have better glucose metabolism and sugar, blood sugar levels, which allows them to consume more carbohydrates without getting fat. Generally, they also have faster metabolisms because of their higher thyroid levels. For these, you know, what I call lucky people, they don't need to lose much weight. They typically just want to lose a little bit of fat around the belly or upper legs for, for women. They basically want to tighten up. For these types of people, your diet should be about 50% carbohydrates, 25% protein, and 25% fats. Now, you can have more carbs because your body just burns through it quickly for energy. When trying to lose that you know, little bit of fat, you should reduce your calories, but not by much. All right, Continue eating the protein and healthy fats, but lower your simple carbohydrates. However, you should also add some exercise about three or four times a week. Keep the workout short and intense in about 30 to maybe 45 minutes. Not much is needed for your body type. You know, we don't want to lose valuable muscle. In fact, your best form of exercise for this body type is lifting weights to tone up and keep your shape. Now, the next body type is a mesomorph or mesomorph, depending on how you pronounce it. Now, these body types tend to have the best athletic genetics. Now, they tend to have that perfect metabolism for gaining muscle and losing fat. And they're typically maybe fitness models or bodybuilders, um, maybe football, and there'd be wide receivers in the football, for example. Um, they have wide shoulders, narrow hips, and just a lot more muscle and strength with less body fat. Now, this type of body um, type, you, you need balance when it comes to fat loss. Your diet should be uh, about 40% carbohydrates, 40% protein, and 20% fat. And I would keep this ratio and simply reduce your total calories if you want to lose some fat. Now, you need both carbs and protein because your metabolism uh, eats it up and so does the extra muscle you have. And I would also add in exercise, both aerobic cardio as well as anaerobic um, lifting weights in equal amounts. Now, this can you can exercise about four to five times a week and keep the workouts about 45 to 60 minutes and no longer. And finally, we have what you know some people call the big boned endomorph, who requires the most attention to detail when it comes to fat loss. Now, you tend to be more of that stocky look, right? Narrow shoulders, wide hips, usually short, thick arms and legs. And you have muscle, you have a lot of it, but you tend to have more fat than the other two body types. And you have a slower metabolism and typically don't digest carbs as well. Your blood sugar levels shoots up too much and converts the food you eat into fat. And because of this, you actually need to eat less carbohydrates. So your diet should be about 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, and 25% healthy fats. And make sure you have lots of vegetables and fiber and very little simple carbs. You need, you need less anaerobic weightlifting muscle because you tend to bulk up so quickly. But you need double the amount of aerobic cardio. And you can work out a lot more five to seven times weekly but try to keep it under 90 minutes or less. You don't, you don't, you don't want to go too much. 
However, there is one thing we all have in common, which all three body types have a challenge about, and that's the fact that your body does not like change. It doesn't like to lose weight, especially body fat. Thus, when you begin your fat loss journey, your body will adapt quickly by first maybe decreasing your metabolism or increasing your appetite or decreasing your energy levels, you know, reducing your fat burning hormones and so forth. In fact, this is why 93% of diets and exercise programs fail in the long run. Now, under this video, I have a link uh, to a short bonus video about this specific topic. You should watch it regardless of your body type. It's for anyone who wants a more permanent long-term solution to naturally losing fat while preserving that valuable muscle. And it's even more important for people over the age of 30, especially women. So I hope this video was helpful and gave you more clarity. And if you'd like more information about this topic with similar topics, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making more highly researched videos at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you think someone else might benefit from today's topic, please share the health with maybe an email, social media, text, or just any way to help someone you care about. Finally, make sure you also take a look at the short bonus video below where I reveal the big weight loss scam and why 93% of diet and exercise programs fail, plus how you can naturally turn on your fat burning genes. As always, Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.